you know, we are currently in the air with Danielle Ludic. She's with Airtrack Aviation. She's been kind enough to offer us a view of uh, this area now, this part of Margate, that's been badly hit by the flash flooding last night. So what you're seeing now is essentially where I was earlier on the ground when I spoke to you. So it's a central part of this little town. It's probably one of the busier parts. Lots of businesses around there. And it's now that you truly get a sense of the type of damage that this flooding caused last night. So you can almost see the path of how the water ripped through the town, tore up some of the roads, some of the nearby businesses. In fact, a number of, of cars were also buried under debris nearby. The trees have fallen over. So that's where the damage seems to be concentrated and it seems to be mostly structural at that point. Disaster management teams are still on the ground and they are still working, trying to find out if uh, you know there are no missing people and there's no one that's uh, trapped under that debris. So far, the official word from the municipality has been that there are four people that have passed away. The three of them we know were in that vehicle that, that was washed off a bridge. We were at that scene a little bit earlier and uh, some of the teams are still working there trying to recover uh, the car, but they were able, through a very intricate operation, they were able to, to get those bodies out. A family there, two adults and a child, another man having been struck by lightning. Well, for the three that were in the vehicle, they were washed off that, that bridge and they were washed into the deep waters that were below. And that was just alongside the N2 where they ended up. That was the scene that we were at initially this morning uh, where those recoveries were taking place. But with the, the fourth man, that person was struck by lightning.